Okay, so for today, we're going to talk about the Laplace transform of exponential functions. Uh, this is still a part of a video or tutorial lecture video all about advanced engineering mathematics. So for the last video about ADMAT, uh, we talk about the Laplace transform of sine and cosine and some basic uh, Laplace transform of the constant, Laplace transform of some basic function of E. But now we're going to talk about the Laplace transform of exponential function and we're going to derive the formula of uh, finding the Laplace transform of any exponential function. So let's get started. If you wish to recall, okay, you may wish to recall the formula for our Laplace f of s is the integral from 0 to infinity of the function in time multiplied by e raised to negative st and we have a dt here. So if we're going to get the Laplace transform of this uh, exponential function with a as constant, any value of constant, okay, any constant value, so we will plug in that in our formula, the integral from 0 to infinity of our f of t. In our case, this should be the a, f of t, e raised to a t, multiplied by e raised to negative s t, we have a dt. And of course, oops. And of course, as we can see here, okay, we have same base, which is e. By loss of exponent, we could actually add their exponent because we have uh, base e here. So we have e raised to a t plus the negative s t dt. So in other words, since we have a negative here, so that would become a minus. So we have that is equivalent to the integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to a t minus st, we have dt here. Okay? So, both terms have t. I can factor out t. So, I can factor out t. So, we have uh, t a minus s dt. And furthermore, if I'm going to factor out a negative, okay, such that this would become integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, let me just rewrite this. Okay. Integral from 0 to infinity, I can factor out still negative here. So this would become negative is t. And this would change sign. So we have this would become negative a and this would become positive s. s minus a dt. So if I'm going to integrate this with respect to t, okay? So any other constant variable or any other variable is considered as constant. So if I'm going to integrate this, s minus a, and we have negative here. So for you to really uh, see more, okay, so I could isolate negative s minus a here and put t here. That is still the same, okay? So if I'm going to integrate this, this whole negative times s minus a is considered as a constant because I'm integrating with respect to t. So what will happen upon integration, negative 1 over, okay, we have uh, s minus a, okay, times e raised to negative s minus a times t, okay, evaluated from 0 to infinity. So, upon integrating, okay. So, what will happen is that we have now to evaluate that one negative 1 over s minus a, e raised to negative s minus a multiplied by infinity minus negative 1 over s minus a, e raised to negative s minus a times 0. All right, so what will happen here? e raised to infinity would become 0. So 0 times this would be 0. So simply this term would be 0. Again, if I'm going to uh, evaluate also this, 0 times this is e raised to 0. So e raised to 0 would be 1. So this whole term, this term, would be actually equal only to 1. Okay. So let me just rewrite that. So in red ball pen, so this would be equal to 1. This. So what will happen is we have a minus here, we have a negative here, so that would become plus 1 over s minus a. And the Laplace transform, okay, of e base to a t is simply 1 over s minus a. Okay. 
So, let's try another example. Okay? If we're going to try another example, we actually uh, replaced A with a real number, let's say. So, Laplace transform of E raised to 3T. Okay? So, again, the definition of Laplace transform is the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t multiplied by e raised to negative st dt. So, to find the, the Laplace transform, we have from 0 to infinity of f of t, which is e raised to 3t multiplied by e raised to negative st dt. Again, by laws of exponent, we can rewrite this as e raised to 3t minus st dt. And again, Factoring out the negative and the t because it's both common. This is s. This is not 5. This is s. Okay? So, factoring out uh, negative. So, what will happen? We have negative. Okay? We have s minus 3 multiplied by t. So, if we're going to distribute t and negative here, this would uh, we would go back to this equation. We, we factor out negative sign and the t here because it's both common on the uh, function inside. I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say. Okay? So that if we're going to integrate this, again, integrating that, we will be having negative 1 over s minus 3. Okay? E copy the same. E raised to negative s quantity s minus 3 times t evaluated from 0 to infinity. Substitute the limits. So we have s minus t, e raised to negative s minus t times infinity. And we all know that this term would actually be equal to 0. So any number multiplied by 0, so this whole term would become a 0. So minus the negative 1 over s minus 3, e raised to negative s minus 3 multiplied by 0. So we know that this e raised to 0 would simply be equal to 1. Okay? And our final answer for this Laplace transform, negative times negative would be positive. So that would be 1 over s minus 3. Okay? So as expected, because we have derived a while ago 1 over s minus a. So any value of a. So in this case, the value of a is 3. Okay, that is our A. So if we substitute that to our formula, 1 over S minus A, 1 over S minus A, which is 3. So we, we still get the correct answer. So if we are going to get the Laplace transform, let's say, of uh, E raised to 5T, okay, this is an exponential. So we know that our a here in this case our value of a here is 5 so we know the laplace transform of any exponential function is 1 over s minus a and if we're going to substitute the value of a here which is 5 so we will get the laplace transform simply of this exponential function as s minus 5 1 over s minus 5 and again, if we try to get the Laplace transform of e raised to negative 10t, that's 1 over s minus a, wherein our a here is negative 10. So what will happen? We have 1 over s minus negative 10. Be careful. So the, 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 the uh, minus sign or the subtraction sign would be distributed. So that would be 1 over s plus then the only time that this would become a plus is that if your a is negative. Okay? And last one for this video, this is a very short video. Okay? So we have 10e raised to 2t. So one property of Laplace is that you can actually uh, factor out 10 outside of the Laplace transform. So we have 10 Laplace of e raised to 2t. And we know that this should be 10 multiplied by 1 over s minus our value of a is 2. And then multiply it. So that would be 10 over s minus 2. So that's it, guys. So I hope you learned something for this from this very, 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 very short video of mine. 
So thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for um, uh, sharing my YouTube channel to other engineering students or other uh, math major student or uh, uh, to those who are in need of this tutorial. So please continue to support me as I grow in, in the YouTube industry. Okay, so thank you so much for listening. This is the Laplace transform of an exponential function, okay, part of the advanced engineering mathematics um, tutorial session. So thank you so much for listening, guys, and God bless you.